working big surprise there. Dang. Where do you think we should start? Uh, fuel tank drop or the tank. Drop, the drop the gas tank. So we'll well, drain the fuel, right? Well, that ought to be fun. So we'll come over here to our handy dandy toolboxes. And I know this shop doesn't look organized to y'all, but it's organized to me. And uh, a lot cleaner than my shop. <laughs> it was it's pretty dang clean. So got a little bit of stuff laying here and there, but I don't know what my boss is doing with all that stuff. I got a transfer pump right here. It has a little bit of ATF in it, but it's not going to hurt much. So let's start by pumping out all this old fuel. Well, new fuel. New fuel, new old fuel, mix, whatever you want to do. So, all right, we'll be right back when we start pumping. Okay, we're gonna drop this fuel tank and put the electric fuel pump in. I'm not gonna go over that in great detail, but we will put it in time lapse and do it that way. So, we'll get started right now. Boy, those rats sure went to town on the top of this fuel tank. So now we got it out, we'll get the shop back and we'll suck all that off. Then we'll take and put the new fuel pump in, put the tank back in, and hopefully we can call it a day. So let me get this set up and we'll suck this rat crap off. Okay, we got the top of that toolbox, or <laughs> toolbox, fuel tank cleaned out, cleaned off, cleaned about, cleaned around, whatever you want to say. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and install the new fuel pump. Okay. Got a new fuel pump, new o ring. Let's see if you guys can see me like that. There we go. Okay, is that old O-ring still on there? Yes, it is. Oh, and it is crusty. It's pretty crusty, yeah. But it has to come off. Want me to run that vacuum while you do it? Or? I, think it, it. I think it'll come. If I'm careful. Vacuum. <laughs> I 
clean. Yep. Okay, now that we got that clean, we'll remove the condom from the fuel pump. Yeah, that's one thing I was kind of wondering about. Uh, oh, I see. And this sits right flat on the bottom of right. the tank. But it's got a filter first. Right. So, uh, so in about one gas tank full, I'm going to be pulling this tank again and putting a new filter on it. You? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me. I'm going to I'm going to do it. Uh, just going to come to this shop to do it though, huh? Yeah. As soon as I get my shop cleaned up, I'm going to start. I don't know how to get the... Yeah, that looks like a little bit of a trick, guys. How do you... Well, then you got to put that Is gasket on first. On part two or not? I don't think so. Apparently, I guess we can experiment first with the little ring. No, can't go like that. We got to go through it like that. Then you get it over there. It's going to be a mess. I'm going to have to look up a video how to do that. You know what? Because you go from the other direction. Well, I was trying to act like that was a hole. Right. So if I went like that, and then you're stuck. I wonder if this deal comes out. Oh, yeah, you can pop this deal out. But you've got to put it back in somehow inside of the tank. Well, if you got this part in there like that. Or maybe, yeah, let's try it. And I mean, this, this is going to go. Yeah, that'll go. Top yeah, this, right? right. But I just wanted to pretend like it was the gas tank. I got you. I was pretending like that was the top hole. So instead of sitting here, watch us struggle with this. I'll put y'all into super fast mode. I went and found me some, some instructions, but who needs them? So, this looked pretty simple whenever I looked at it. Two blacks equal ground. Purple is normally a vehicle gauge. And gray, well, it must go to the relay. So, what we're gonna do now is stick you back down in the hole, because I, I hear you like going in holes. Uh, so, we're gonna stick you back down in the hole and then stick this back down in the hole. Actually, hey Roy, I have a great idea. Okay. Why don't we tip this tank upside down and dump all the gas that's in it out of it, just in case there's a little bit more crap in this tank. Good idea. I'm, I'm sure glad I thought of that. So, yeah. all right. You're a smart guy. We're gonna go dump this outside into a bucket, an approved bucket, and then we will be back and put it in the car. Okay, in all my infinite wisdom, I remembered we needed fuel line. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw him on there. I have some clamps, some good clamps. Uh, these are a, I don't know if they're quarter inch or five sixteenths, we'll find out here in a second. So. But these are for fuel injection. You got to, remember, you got to use fuel injection stuff. Fuel injected rated hose and fuel injected rated hose clamps. So let me grab a nut driver. 
pliers. Nope. Yeah. I don't know what size that is. It's that size? Seven millimeter. Yep, that's the metric of the book. Oh. And I think I will use two clamps. I got them, I might as well use them. She was hotter than a $2 pistol. She was the fastest thing in town. <laughs> See my neck? <laughs> Don't read that. It says it's for fuel injection. See? Yeah. For fuel injection. Some good hose, man. This hose is rated to 55 PSI and we're gonna be 58 PSI. Ooh, that was an assortment of clamps. I hate that they did that. Good thing I bought two packages. Yeah. I don't know. That's got a lip on the end of it, right? Yep. I don't know that one clamp wouldn't work. Okay. It's fine in that spot. Okay. On that other one with the barbs, maybe with the two clamps. Okay. Well. And then those probably those are. Let's get you all set up, and we will put it in the put the tank back in the car. Okay, all I got left to put connect back here is the main power wire. Let's get some light up there. I got the grounds hooked up and I went ahead and polished that off. Then I got the fuel sender, oh, fuel sender hooked up over there. Uh, I might solder that later and I will solder this one later, but we are gonna send it up the frame. Uh, but we gotta get the Holy Sniper on before we can do that. But the, now the electric fuel pump is in the tank. We are, we're done there. So I guess we'll come up here. Roy just got done taking off the old uh, reservoir for the radiator. radiator. The, it was the overflow, it was broken. So I'm sure it's looking cleaner up here already. Let's see. Yeah, that looks a lot better without that old reservoir in there. I'd like to... It makes it really easy to get to that yeah. fuel pump. Oh yeah, we're gonna take the fuel pump off too. I wonder if I can return that. Yeah, I bet you can. So, that no, thing was like 80 no, bucks. No, no, no good. So, anyways, uh, we gotta pop off the carburetor, which you guys have seen me do that a million and one times before now. Uh, we gotta pop off the carburetor, pop off the fuel pump, get rid of all this old fuel line, get a new fuel line coming up. We might run it some a little different than it is now. I don't know how we'll run it yet, but uh, we got a block off plate for that fuel pump. Uh, 
So I guess for now, we'll start by removing the old carburetor, I guess, and fuel pump. So let's get started doing that. These are the bolts that came out of the fuel pump and they're going to be too thick so we're going to get some new bolts put in there so just so you know if you're doing this you've got to uh put smaller shorter bolts so we'll be right back but with shorter bolts Looks like we're headed to my uncle's shop to get a dang adapter put on here. Oh, they, it said the, it said for a spread board manifold. Well, this is a spread board manifold and it's not for a spread board. So that is what I know. And with a little help from an adapter kit, we're gonna put it together so that it will fit. All right, so I'm not gonna talk a whole lot. We're gonna time lapse this. It's midnight, we are tired. So enjoy this time lapse. We will get it together. We're going to, and then I'll bring you back whenever we get mostly everything done. So we'll be right, we'll be back with the time lapse.
Okay, we got juice all hooked up. We got this thing roughly installed. And let me, I mean roughly, it is roughly installed. So, but we are ready to go ahead and set up on the wizard. So, let's get the wizard pulled up. No juice. Did I forget to hook the battery up or something? Okay. We'll be right back. We gotta go up here and check the battery. Well, it's connected. Hmm. Let's see what it does now. Roy? Yeah. I'm gonna touch the key, touch the starter. I have it in neutral. Okay. Huh. The system is not coming on when I want it to come on. No. Oh crap. Hey, can you tell me that sensor from wherever it is? Uh I need it. Yeah. For my install. Okay. Well, so, I guess I'll do a little bit of troubleshooting. Figure out why my screen is not coming on. Is this the Teflon type of deal? What do you mean? Do I need Teflon on that? No. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm gonna do a little bit of troubleshooting. Okay, well, it came on. It did? Yep, oh. just took a minute. So, let's see if you can see that. So, uh, wizards. Uh, back. This doesn't have deep set quarter inch drive. Oh. No, I think it's this one. Select Sniper TBI type. This was 550859, I think. 869. 550869 is what this one is. So, we will go down here. Quadrajet Sniper, next. This engine is a 454. Sort of hard to do one handed. Four fifty four engine displacement next. Come on. We want seven fifty idle speed. Uh, this is a coil. Is it, this is a coil negative distributor, right? I don't know. Let's see. Thank you. 
that's the fuel pump. Okay. Ignition off. Wait four seconds. Ignition on. Monitor. Okay, well, I'm going to turn the key off. We're going to wait for Roy to finish up. Oh, no, you know what we're going to do? We're going to start adding gas because this car has no gas in it. So, I'll start adding gas. Then I'll bring you back when we start it. Okay, I think we... Which one? Blue? Okay, well... We are ready to start it. First time starting the El Camino with fuel injection. So. Yep, we are watching. We got camera. So. Yep. Okay, here we go. Oh. Okay, here we go. That's the sound. Hunting right now. It's gotta learn itself. Yep, it wasn't happy about that. It's flooded itself. Give it some throttle, Roy. Because it's just flooding right now. Yep. It's flooding real hard. I don't understand what's going on. I turned it off. Uh, I turned it off. It? Yeah. Oh. Why is, why is it flooding? Why is it flooding? Is it because of the timing? It's just gonna figure itself out, I guess. Maybe the timing. I'm gonna open this door before That's I start it back up again. Oh, it's not timing itself yet. Is it? No. 
I don't know what's going on. Uh, saying AFR is like 14. What's that? Air fuel. What's the I don't know. Let's turn on that fan before we start it again. Uh, and maybe I ought to read the instructions after all. So, oh, we're at a mess. I don't even know where the instructions are right now. Let's see, it's only almost two o'clock. Let's crank her up again. Okay. Uh, Let's go home. Yeah, set up. Cancel. Uh, sensors. Let's do a different setup. I'm gonna have to figure this out and we'll get back to you guys. Well, I don't know what I did, but it's running a lot better now. I don't know. Sounds a whole lot better. Okay, let's see. Okay, if you guys can see up there, see beyond what you see. Be we got it knocked out. Transmission just grenade? 